All right, so it only took me uh, wiring it six times to finally get it to work. So we're gonna do a tone review of my restored Les Paul Studio. I got the 490T, um, excuse me, 490R and 498T in here. Um, no, 490R, yeah, 498T. Um, in here, this is what it had originally. Now I ordered a studio pick guard from Gibson and this is what they sent me. This is obviously a custom. The kit that I bought to put the electronics back in it actually had a cream tip. It wouldn't hold my uh, my uh, black original tip, which I still have. Oddly enough, um, it is a Switchcraft and it, it actually seems like it's more designed for like a uh, um, SG, even though it's not the L-shaped. Uh, my SG doesn't have an L-shaped one in it anyway, but let's start with the uh, bridge pickup. that pot up you know I, I had to wire this thing six times so I actually have one I can replace it with if I need to or it could actually be on the tone side because I messed up with the tone ones too
have this turned down. I don't, I don't know if you can tell, but I have this channel turned down a bit. <laughs>
Well, as you can see, I think I probably blew that pot out. wiring and rewiring six times so but overall it actually sounds pretty great and especially in the bridge and then when I get the middle and whatnot to work on the clean I think it sounds awesome uh, way better than it did when I had the EMGs in uh, I'm not gonna take it apart again as far as I'm concerned it's done uh, I can play around with it I do have another set of electronics but I went ahead and bought a husk of a uh, Gibson Les Paul tribute that I'm gonna rebuild myself um, and use that other wiring kit that I've got. Uh, thankfully that one's pre-wired. All I got to do is put the pickups in and wire up the, the connector and then uh, it's done. So, uh, but yeah, this is the uh, 1996 Les Paul Studio that I just restored from having EMGs.